Hi, my name is Carlos Ansonetti. I'm a senior character TD at Heavy Iron Studios, and I'm also the person who rigged the animation mentor, Hatch, character. When I first looked at the character, I knew it was going to be a difficult challenge, and for that, I was very excited. I approached rigging this character the same way I approach any other characters, which is not looking at the details right away, but instead looking at the main shapes or body parts to figure out how the character would behave and move. So in this case, I identified the back legs, the body, the head, the middle legs, and the arms. I find that when you break down the character like this, it becomes much less intimidating. And I sometimes I even schedule my time based on these main shapes that I find. I also searched for breaking points in the mesh. These breaking points are areas of the mesh with hinges, rubber areas, or sometimes just empty areas. Especially in mechanical models, it is very important to know those breaking points because when you find them, they tell you a lot about flexibility and the type of motion. A perfect example on Hatch is the head. I noticed this roll hinge and that told me right away that the head might have a pretty limited range of motion, unless I found some other breaking points on the neck that I could use to add flexibility. Since I was given no design to tell me how this character would move or function, I examined the body parts one by one to see if the geometry told me something. For example, the back legs resemble a quadruped leg, so I knew the approach to use there. All the pistons inside the rear leg were pretty straightforward to know, you know, how would they how they moved, uh, how they would move, and, uh, and and in the final rig they behave completely automatically, except for a couple of areas. Breaking down a character, a mechanical character, is in general easier to figure out than an organic character. An organic character has usually a soul, so this character could have a, uh, a wide variety of expressions, motions, and flexibility. So in this case, it really helps to know the personality or the use of the character, so you can make sure you know, to be a little bit biased towards that, but just a little bit, because you still want to account for as many situations as possible.